Now, Tanzania's 2019 African Cup of Nations was derailed by Lesotho in the last Group L match day. The new head coach, Emmanuel Amunike, who was appointed only a couple of months ago, however, remains confident that the Taifa Stars will make it to the finals. He spoke to CGTN's Daniel Kijo in Dar es Salaam. I started in Nigeria uh, with Julius Bega, and I was privileged to go to Egypt to play for Zamalek of Egypt. Uh, after the World Cup uh, in 94, I went to Sporting Lisbon in Portugal. From Sporting Lisbon, I, I went to Barcelona. So it's a long record compared with the national team, club level engagement, club success, uh, national team success. Uh, we were the first uh, group of players that were able to qualify Nigeria for the first World Cup in 1994. Now you've been in Tanzania for a couple of months. Uh, tell me a bit about your experience so far. Um, what have you seen? Um, how, what are the levels of passion for football? Well, I think uh, in Tanzania, there is no doubt that, uh, f if I'm not mistaken, 55 million of Tanzanians. And, uh, when it comes to football, they are so passionate about it. Sir, nothing is absent of challenges. Tell me about some of the challenges you have faced uh, so far. To be very realistic and honest to you is, is how can you be able to bring the players, to transmit to the players the importance of winning, uh, the importance of working hard. Maybe they are used to some certain ways of doing things. And now somebody comes and is telling you, no, this is the way you can achieve. So it's, it's very difficult sometimes to convince an adult. And I, I think you don't need to give up, no matter the challenge. Every journey has its challenges. So tell me about what you've liked about Tanzanian or East African football. What, what have you seen? What trends? What positive? What moves uh, are happening in football here? Well, what I saw is that the East Africans now, they are, they are trying to grow. Um, when you look at the previous Nations Cup, probably maybe you find only one East African qualifier. Now, Uganda, it took them years to qualify. Uh, Kenya, now, they almost three, it took them 15 years to make it. Uh, and if God willing, uh, Tanzania, 38 years will we qualify. So if you were to build the perfect team, like what attributes would you uh, put together? What skill set? What, what mental? How do you want it to look like? Well, uh, football has two key moments, uh, when a team has the ball and when a team does not have the ball. So if you are privileged to have a team that the moment you lose the ball, everybody is involving to recover the ball as quick as possible, to close the space where the opponent might exploit. Uh, then when you have the ball, uh, you're trying to attack without losing the structure of the team. Um, what, after all these years, is your footballing philosophy? Well, my philosophy of uh, coaching is uh, I want my players to play good football, but not only playing good football without being responsible. Uh, make fun. Football is an art. It's a gift.